Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about why Visions is the most needed reprint. And luckily it was reprinted in Conspiracy 2, which I applaud Widget of Coast for doing, and I think it's very good. So when you look at reprint, you look at the price, but not only is it the price, so with something like Liliana of the Veil is over $100 for the non-foil one, but she feels like she should be $100. And I love her to, for her to be reprinted, but at the same time, she's not the most needed reprint. The most needed reprint is something that is a common, or now it's an uncommon, that should not be five or ten dollars. There was a time this card was eight to nine dollars a copy because it just feels bad. This card is the definition of a card that needs to be reprinted. It sees a lot of play. In every single blue deck or every single modern deck that plays blue, it's a four of. And there's no reason it should be eight to nine dollars because it actually is weaker than something like Ponder. It's weaker than something like Brainstorm. And it's not that strong of a card, but what happened was, and if you told me that this would be a eight, nine dollar card, I wouldn't believe you because it seems kind of insane. Uh, mainly because it wasn't the strongest card and nor has it ever been the strongest card but with the modern ban list it became the strongest card and the only card available that does what it does which is cantripting as well as increasing your card quality but that doesn't feel good paying for eight dollar common paying for a lily or paying for a snapcaster mage you kind of understand it, it makes sense. They're not commons, they are very powerful effects and they're the best in their class um, in terms of what Snapcaster Mage can do, in terms of what Lily can do in modern or even in other older formats. But in terms of visions, it's not as good. It's not good enough. It doesn't feel like an $8 card to me. And that's why a lot of people uh, went off and did not buy this card even though they, their decks really needed it and their decks were a little weakened. So not because they couldn't afford it. It's not because Lily is less expensive than this card, but because it feels bad when you have to pay $8 for a common. And I think that's why I'm going to name Visions the most needed reprint. Um, and luckily we got one in Conspiracy 2 because no common in my opinion in a, mod in a reprintable form so obviously maybe you have some older commons um, no common that's supposed to be in modern or in standard should be eight dollars that just feels bad to me i literally as a mythical planeswalker planeswalker with fantastic art um that to me while at a hundred dollars is eh, icky it feels better to pay a hundred dollars for that lily than to pay 32 for a playset of this card that's my opinion anyway. Uh, leave me a comment below if you have a different opinion or if, you know, what is the most uh, needed reprint. It might be Damnation, but this one comes very close in my opinion, especially since it's a common and more people will now be able to play the decks in modern that have blue in it, which is always good. Bye guys.